what's up everybody Phil back again on my channel here doing a quick video on this guy this is a IH 1456 was a shelf model released probably in the 90s and I'm showing it in this picture now and I, it was single wheels and standard wheels on the back and the front and uh, I decided to uh, customize her up a little bit here I like how it turned out um, the real tractor IH 1456 produced by I International Harvester from 69 through 71 131 horsepower I believe classic design tractor but this was the big boy of the 56 series two-wheel drive tractors of course there was a 4156 I think and it was a little bit more horsepower than this one by about 10 horsepower roughly but uh classic design really 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 great great look and design of these tractors so on the back here I did add this uh, work light little hitch there cabin everything is standard from what it was out of the box nothing changed in that regard got your classic 56 series hood there your breather and your muffler oval muffler those were both on the tractor there's a factory from the out of the box engine detail nothing changed there either I didn't mess with that in any kind of way doesn't look too bad always loved the decaling the long white decal black international model number down here always the turbo of course synonymous your classic grill here 56 series vertical grilling IH logo at the top I did add the slab weights there painted them red they were uh, case power orange painted them red added a decal on the sides IH decaling on the side nothing changed on the bottom of the tractor straight out of the box the big change here was really the tires and the wheels the rims and the tires um, on the back I spaced them out pretty good I thought didn't look too bad love the tread on these tires there are fire stones got them from Chucky's of course in your rim here your and set out a rim painted it all solid red painted the axle end IH white and then I bolt tipped silver and your front wheels are the big four ribs from Chucky's look pretty nice they are firestones as well of course and I uh we ram all red and then I bolt tipped I paint tipped the bolt heads silver on them <laughs> looks pretty good I, li I like the way this one turned out I wasn't um, sure how it would look but once I got it done I thought it didn't look too awful bad All right, everybody, I'll do a quick uh, comparison. Let's move on to that now. All right, everybody, I'm back. My custom 1456 alongside my 1256. That's crazy. It's missing. Its decal came off or it never had one. It never had one. <laughs> it's got one on that side. That's crazy. Um, I got decals. I can put one on there. No big deal. Um, <laughs> That's nice QC by Ertl, by the way. They do that a lot, it seems like. But uh, that's my tricycle 1256 shelf model that came out a few years ago, I think. So this is the little brother and the big brother. Same series of tractors. All right, everyone, I'll move on to some quick final thoughts and let's do that now. 
All right, everybody, I'm back. 116 scale, 1456 by Ertl. Shelf model that's been customized. I, I like the way it turned out overall. Pretty happy with it. Became extremely heavy tractor now with all the metal rims added and thicker wheels and everything. It's, it's quite a stout tractor, but doesn't look too bad. Pretty, pretty happy with it myself. All right, everybody, I'll uh, close out my video here. I want to thank everyone who tunes in. Appreciate everybody. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll talk again soon.